he's a giant. I finally did it in Missouri, Ethan. <laughs> We did it in Missouri. I freaking pumped him, he died right there.
set up for this evening. Overlooking a scrape right below us. Two scrapes out to our right. We've got the wind blowing right in our face, blowing it over the top of this creek behind us. These deer have been coming out like right below us. So we're in tight, but it's the best tree that I could find right here that was going to be able to shoot to both of these corners. So hopefully once the sun starts to go down a little bit more, that wind will start to die off. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a shot at a nice buck right here. I can't get close enough. I was gonna you say like uh, you like a lot of things that stand there and look dumb. Specifically, gimpy. <laughs> look at him. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we uh, slept in this morning because everyone was well. I was tired at least, and we got Alyssa in town. So Alyssa came down from Minnesota. Do not blame me for the sleeping in. No, I heard the I, alarm go off and no I- No one's he, blaming you no, for anything. He, listen, I had to shove him awake. I was I like, believe you. dude, alarm, alarm. And then I fell back asleep, but I thought you would just get up and go. No, so I was fine with sleeping in. Okay, I just I think, don't want to be- I think everybody was, was fine good. with sleeping in I morning. just do not want to be like, oh, Alyssa shows up, so all of a sudden they're not hunting. No, not at all. Uh, 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 I don't you even, were, don't hit my you, were, you were the provided excuse by me. I was like, you know, you should just spend time with Alyssa. Like, <laughs> just sleep She in. came down That's here. Fine. That's fair. I'm gonna, we're gonna swing with that. Like so, that. anyway, we are meeting Steven at Corner Cafe to get some brunch. And then we're gonna figure out where we're gonna hunt tonight. I don't know what the heck I did. But my knee is all jacked up. My left knee is all messed up. I'm not sure why. I didn't feel like I did anything to it. But about right after we got out of the stand last night, my knee started acting up real bad. And so now I'm kind of gimping around. But we'll make it work. Hopefully it passes in a couple of days. But right now, <clears throat> right now it kind of hurts. It's always something interesting some interesting way. 
Do you need me to park it for you? Why are we on the wrong side of the road? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is why I'm the better driver. That's what you think. Still can't get in the line. You deal with this all the time? Yeah. <laughs> I just like to give him extra pressure. <laughs> From the start of the video, you just start passing just driving. <laughs> Why are we on the other side of the road? Do you need me to drive? Well, how are we going to park this? I'm curious to see. <laughs> <laughs> no, Constant well, judgment. <laughs> I, just like to, I just like to give him a hard time sometimes, and yeah. it makes him better. Yeah, he needs We're it. We're in the lines now. see some deer. We'll just see uh, what plays out tonight, but hopefully we have some movement. It's been a little bit dead in Missouri so far, so we're, we're hopeful that this cold front might have them on their feet, but this rain, rain might not be good, we'll see. set up on this little bottom. We've got a ridge that goes up to our left, another ridge back behind us. This bottom kind of meets together with those two ridges. We've got a creek to our right, so kind of a natural funnel right there, and uh, hopefully it's a good spot.
saw the one headed uphill. Sideways there. We just go where the tracks and the road take us. It is kind of nice. We got a little rut. Hey, we found the rut.
so we so what we did we hung a double set in there around like noon or one o'clock and we're just gonna try to go in there tomorrow I'm trying to think if we just go hang or just go hunt that double set that they've got because it's in a perfect spot Take a look at it. The image I got, I'm pretty sure it's a G4, but I'm almost. I, it, but you're, I can't see it on the picture you see, on the video you sent. He's got a three or four inch G4 on his right side. Yeah. On his right side. Same here. All right, we are getting ready to head into the stand that we hung yesterday, midday. Should be a good morning hunt. We're gonna have a little bit of wind. Hopefully it's not too terrible, but we have a perfect north-northwest wind, um, which is great for this spot. So hopefully we can kill a buck this morning. If not, we are going to, we were going to do an all-day sit in this spot, but we found a buck that I'm excited about yesterday evening. Had a really cool encounter with him, so we're going to hunt this spot this morning. Pull this stand out maybe around 11 or noon, and then... Um, 
head over to where we hunted yesterday evening, but we're gonna bring a decoy this time. So hopefully we can have that big buck come in and give us a give us a chance. So anyway, that's the plan. Let's go do it. side of big bedding. Saw a nice buck in here yesterday. Should be good. These are the kind of mornings we live for. It can't line up any better. High pressures, 26 degrees, Halloween day. We're in a tree stand in Missouri. At any point we could have a giant cruise through these woods. I got a shooting lane here to 35 yards. Got a trail right below us, a trail right behind us. We can shoot out into that bedding area right there. I mean just a perfect setup. It was it was tough to hang in this tree. I mean, it's one of those spots where like, it's the perfect spot with a less than desirable tree. Sometimes you gotta make it work and get it hung just however you can to be in the spot. I feel like we're in the spot, so let's crash these horns together, see if we can't get something. All right, we are uh, getting ready to pack up, drop out of the set. We're getting close to 11 o'clock in the morning. The only buck we've seen this morning was that big three-year-old eight point that came in within the first 40 minutes of light. We're gonna relocate back to where we saw that big buck last night, tending that doe. Fun sit, windy sit. After that sun came up, it got really windy really quick, but uh, fun sit nonetheless so anyway we're gonna drop out of here get the decoy ready get things situated for the evening hunt go grab some food hopefully kill that big buck tonight what's going on here waiting for Steven we got a dead battery there you go <laughs> Steven my man appreciate you yep. Thanks, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. I think this evening will be good. I don't know if I believe in this stuff, but I want to believe tonight.
All right, we just pulled up to this new spot. We haven't hunted this spot yet. The boys hung a double set out here like a week ago, and they've seen a big mature eight down here, a couple other bucks. They're not really even sure what's in here. They just acquired this property uh, three weeks ago. So haven't ran any cameras or anything like that. So it's kind of just like a, could be a surprise what we get into, but we have a perfect win for this set. We've got a good win for the set that we hung last night as well, but I kind of want to give that spot just a break for the evening. We've hunted it two evenings in a row, and uh, we'll go try that spot again maybe tomorrow evening. But for now, we're going to try this new set. Hopefully, get into a big buck. I've been saying that about every interview. <laughs> Hopefully, we get into a big deer. We're coming down to the wire with our Missouri hunt. We've got probably today and tomorrow, and then we got to go and get ready for Kansas. We've already pushed back the Kansas hunt by two, three days at this point. And the Kansas tag is not a guaranteed tag every year. I can get my tags in Missouri every year, and I can always come back to hunt Missouri uh, later in the season. They have pretty good late season hunting out here. So we want to go give Kansas a chance and definitely want to be there during the rut. I've got a buddy out there right now. He says it's not quite on right now, but it's about to tip over. So we're right at that brink here in Missouri as well. Hopefully today and tomorrow we really get some movement. Um, we've been seeing deer, but just really, really tough to see mature deer in daylight hours. We've only had one encounter with a truly mature deer in daylight hours, and he came out like half hour before last light. But anyway, hopefully that luck turns around tonight. So here we go. You got everything? Yep.
side right there. I finally did it in Missouri, Ethan. I finally did it in Missouri. I freaking pumped him, he died right there. God is so good. God is so good, dude. God is so good. Dude, God is so good. Game over, dude. We're tagged out, baby. <laughs> oh, Ethan oh, got. Did you get it on video? Oh yeah. He's dead right now. Like he he went to the edge of the field. We sweet got it. November, man. Sweet, sweet November. Sweet November. November one. Thank you. <laughs> dude, I can't. I'm so pumped for you guys. You guys have been hunting hard this year. Dude, so hard. I didn't know if it was gonna happen, man. I'll be honest. We've been hunting so dang hard. I don't even know how to put it into words. Hopefully, you guys can see that through the films and the video like this has been such like an incredible past couple weeks of hunting just in terms of like how hard we've worked how hard we've been keeping after these dang deer and it all just came together right there I looked over on the corner of the field we had three does behind us Doe down in the field here, now I'm starting to shake. Now it's starting to set in. Five, 10 minutes ago, I look over here and I hear some crashing in the brush right here, right to our left. I look over and I see this just big frame, look like a big framed eight point. He came out on the edge of the field. I looked down, I had to get my hinge out of the hood of my bino harness, got my hinge on just in time to draw back. And he's standing right here at 25 yards. I stopped him. I couldn't even range him. I didn't know what the yardage was, but I guessed him at 25. Stopped him right here. Absolutely just wheelhoused him. Just a perfect shot. And he just died right there on the edge of the field, like right away. I mean, that deer was dead in 15 seconds. 20 seconds, maybe. Oh, God is so good, man. Jake Denton. Thank you. Jake came in here and hung these stands like a week ago. And bless his heart, he's been having to work so much he hasn't been able to hunt him. These boys gave me the blessing of coming in here to hunt and told me where the stand was and came in here and hunted tonight. And Jake, Cole, Steven, Jesse, all you boys, thank you all so much for this opportunity coming out here in Missouri been hunting our butts off guys I mean been hunting our butts off we just finally got that opportunity right here thank you guys let's go check them out all right let's do this he was standing right here my arrow buried in the ground right behind him right here they're in that stand he runs across here look at all this blood right away. Craziest blood trail I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay, I love you. Shoot, why am I breaking up? Okay, I love you. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh, what a stud, bro. We finally got it done here on just a brute of a Missouri deer. We came in here hunted this spot. Our good friends Jake, Cole, Jesse, Steven, they kind of set this piece of property up here a couple weeks ago and man, just 
so thankful for those boys having us out here and I'm so excited every single year to come to Missouri and hunt these deer and to have a chance to hunt these deer. Such a cool story, man. We've just been hunting our butts off out here. Ethan and I have just been going crazy trying to find one of these deer and here we've got him. He's got a couple daggers coming off his base right here on the right side as well. Just kind of a funky deer. Man, what an ending to the Missouri chapter. I just feel so blessed. God is good. God is so good. We've got a beautiful sunset coming down behind us. Just enjoying the moment. Enjoying the moment. So, appreciate you guys watching. This was a fun one. Catch us in Kansas on the next one. We're going to have a great trip out there. We just got the ball rolling. <laughs> oh, man. Great job, dude. So happy. We're done. Tagged out in Missouri. <laughs>